everyone, Rodev here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a kick on death system, so let's get right into it. So in service script service, go ahead and insert a script, and basically how this system is going to work is we're going to be listening for when a player joins the game, then we're going to get that player's character, and then they're, they're a humanoid, and when the humanoid dies, uh, there's an event with that, and when the event is fired, we know that the, uh, we know that the player died, and from there we'll kick the player from the game. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is call my script, kick on death. And then we're going to get the player service, so local players equals game, colon get service, players. And uh, just like that, we can type players dot player added colon connect function in brackets, get rid of that uh, bracket, add two more, hit enter a few times, we get an end with a bracket. And in here, you just want to type plr, not player because, uh, because uh, some overlap issues will cause us to, I'll explain it later. <laughs> So uh, next thing you want to do is type task dot or not wait task dot spawn, and inside the brackets type in function. Get rid of that bracket. Same uh, little bracket magic over here. Just like that, you'll get an end with a bracket on the end. In here, we're not actually putting anything this time. And uh, basically, what you need to do is local player equals plr. This just helps with some overlapping issues because this event will be ran again, and we don't want plr to change the next one when we're working on this one. Another reason why we're running it in a separate thread using the task.spawn uh, function. So from there, we need the character. So we're just going to use a repeat loop here. So a repeat, or not wait, we're going to use the task library again. Task.wait. Um, task.wait. Task.wait. Uh, repeat task.wait until a uh, player.character. So this will uh, wait until the player has a character. And then we're going to get the humanoid, so local humanoid equals player dot character dot humanoid actually we're going to use find first child so colon find first child in brackets speech marks humanoid just like that and from here we have everything we need now we just need the player when they die so humanoid dot died colon connect function same a uh, little bracket magic again except we're not putting anything in here this time uh, we're just going to be taking the player, so player, colon, kick with a capital K. Don't leave yet, right in these little brackets, you can add your own little kicking uh, message that appears on the screen, I'll demonstrate it in a second. So I'm just going to uh, call it, you died, re rejoin to play again. And then I'm going to close the script, hit play, and I'll demonstrate it working. So for this, I'm going to reset my character. And as you can see, I've been kicked. This is default right here. You were kicked from this experience. And uh, your message is right there. So you died, rejoin the player again. And the error code 267. So uh, that is how a player gets kicked. And when they click leave, they will go back to the website. But right now we're in studio, so we're back to studio. So other than that, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if this helped you. And uh, it's Rodev. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I can see you wanna vibe with me. Just say you wanna vibe with me. Feeling like I want a lottery. You getting a lottery.